Okay, so let's really quickly look at how the sausage of a framer e-commerce oriented uh, landing page or storefront is created uh, by a dummy, and the dummy in this case is myself. Uh, and this is a, a site that we're building for our tinybookabout.com community in 2024. I'm actually experimenting with, you know, a whole bunch of of uh, like audio books and private podcasts, and I'm looking at you know, using some different tools and tech and software to do it. I actually, I absolutely love Framer. I'm not good at it. I'm sort of just beginning to learn. But this template here makes creating an e-commerce store really, really easy. So I'll show you how all this is done. And I know many folks in our uh, client community are interested in creating these sorts of storefronts to promote Gumroad products, Amazon products, you know, lemon squeezy products, WooCommerce products, affiliate products, really anything that you can imagine, you can use Framer to improve the aesthetic of your store and then just link out to the products, programs, and platforms that you choose, right? So this, there's only two pages in this entire uh, Framer template, which is the reason I'm using it, in addition to the fact that it's beautiful, is there's a 404 page and there's a home page. And the text here is, you know, changed over here. Tiny books, big ideas for inspirational authors and entrepreneurs. It says that there. You can also change it here by just, you know, editing it directly in the canvas. Again, it's important to remember I'm a dumb dumb and not a designer. So if I can do this, certainly everyone else watching this can as well. And then this part here is also the same thing. You can see these are links, and this is all done either here in the sidebar or here, you know, directly in the canvas. But the important part of this theme is the CMS, which makes this really, really easy to add products that can link out to wherever it is that you want, right? So this is the image, the alt text, the which I didn't fill out here the name of the product, the details, and then, you know, it says bingeable questions and answers for authors, artists, and entrepreneurs, and then a little goofy line here, wrong answers only, you asked, we answered, but you don't want to know, trust us. I'm going to take that out, but one of the uh, types of books that we're really looking forward to writing are these kind of funny, wrong answers only sorts of books, um, but I'll cover that in a, at a different time. And then here, this actually... Uh, is where you would link to the product. In this case, this is an affiliate link for Circle, um, you know, the Circle, uh, you know, community building software. And then the CTA is get your answer. And then you can actually change the backgrounds on this theme as well, really, really, uh, you know, you know, like easily. And that's a cool feature because you can have different products with different color backgrounds. And the slug here and the affiliate link here are basically copied from a different um, a, a different occurrence or instance of this exact site that I built, again, for the same project, just with different links. So that's why some of these are filled out with slugs that don't really make a lot of sense. The slug here uh, is actually the uh, name of the images that we're using. There's a collection of images that I bought that are these like notion style uh, aesthetic images so you know each one of those are named predicated on the image that uh, from that collection all right let's publish it. it's already published i, I just want to show you really adding one item right i'm not going to do a whole you know rigmarole on this i'm just going to add one item so we're going to go we're going to choose an image from my desktop and let's see I don't even know for sure that's going to be too big. Let me see. All right, that's just a like a social media image. All right, just so you know, that's where that would go. All right, the details would go here, the description will go here. I'm just gonna keep this really 
sure I'm typing with my off hand because I'm still working with a broken mic. Sorry for the slow typing. I'm going to get this to the end here. This is where you'd put in the affiliate link so or the product link or whatever it is. So let's say if I link this to our main um, site. All right, tinybookabout.com. And if I want to change the background of this, I could do it like that. And we're just going to publish it. We're going to save, and then we're going to publish it. All right, and again, my apologies for the slow typing. I'm right-handed, and I'm actually uh, typing with my left. So let's actually just do that again real quick. Let's open the link, and there you can see the way it's now red, which I don't like as much actually. So what I'd probably do is just go right back here, change that back to black. Now the whole site isn't red, it's just the individual product. All right, so there you have it. And then this here at the top needs to be changed back to tiny, and you would do that on a, another uh, page on the edit. The links down here, as you can see, go to our site, as does this product here. If I click on it, buy, and it goes here as well. All right, and again, you would just tweak this, obviously, sending traffic to whatever URLs, changing the you know, changing the call to actions. It's just really, really easy to use because of the simplicity of this particular template and it makes it really easy for me. See here, this links to our affiliate link with Circle. And again, that's just coming from, I have a copy of this that I'm, I, I copied this template a bunch of times because we're using it a bunch of times. Same thing with this, this links to the framer directly. That's my framer back end. Let's see where this one links. I think this also links the circle. And here's actually one product that I saved from the template itself. So I always try to keep one product that the original developer added to the template just so if i fuck anything up forget my language i have one thing to refer to that's actually done the right way all right and if you look at this you go to buy here it's going to go to some other you know site that he set up you know some store shop uh, that i'm just unfamiliar with okie doke but you could do this uh continuously for you know new products and just keep on having, you know, you could just promote a hundred different affiliate products, jewelry, books, uh, affiliate programs, your client stuff, your own products on Gumroad, you know, your products on a, a Lemon Squeezy or WooCommerce or courses. You can also, uh, you can duplicate all these products as well really easily, which makes it really just a joy to use. And we're going to cover some of that in some other uh, videos. But for now, for those of you who've been asking about using Framer to sell products, this is, you know, as easy as it is. It's really that simple. You can see the link field here. You know, these are my links. This is the original product link. You can change all the CTAs. You can change all the details, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okie doke. Thanks so much. If you have any questions about using this uh, template to build your digital storefront, feel free to ask. Thanks again and have a great day.